Hello Techies. In this session, we will learn how to create a channel in Microsoft Teams using Power Automate Desktop. Before that, what is channel in Microsoft Teams? Teams are made up of channels, which are the conversions we have with our teammates. A channel in Microsoft Teams mainly focuses conversation on specific topic, project, or department. By default, all the members of the team can create channels in Microsoft Teams. There are three types of channels. One is standard channel, second one shared channel, another one private channel. I will show you how to create a channel in Microsoft Teams. Right now, I'm in the Microsoft team. I have logged in with my user. And there you can see I'm having menu on the left hand side, such as chart, teams, calendar, calls, OneDrive, and many more. To create a channel, I have to go for the teams. And then you will go to the teams over here. Now, to create a channel, I'm going to select on the more options. And then I'm going to click on add channel. There you can see. I'm going to add a channel over here with the letters, numbers, and space are allowed when you are going to give the name over here. So I'm going to give it as development team members. And then the description is optional, which helps others to find the right channel by providing the description. As I said, there are channel types are three. One is standard, shared, and private. Whenever you're going to select the standard channel, which is open for all the members and anything can be posted is searchable by others. Now, the second one is the shared one where the people or the teams in our organization or the outside of the organization can access it. Now, coming to the third one, the private channel. Whenever you need a small audience for the specific project, then you can go ahead and you can create the channel for your team. Right now, I'm going to give it a standard. And then you can see the option over here automatically shows this channel in everyone's channel list. I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to click on create. Now, before clicking on create, there you can see what are the parameters that I have. One is channel name. Another one is the description, which is the optional. And there I'm having choose a channel type. These are the three parameters which we are having it to create a channel. All right, let me click on create. Now, if you see over here, dev team members if the channel has created with the standard channel type all right now you can go ahead and you can post the messages or post any kind of notifications over here by clicking on start post now by using power automate desktop actions that is microsoft teams actions how can we go ahead and create a channel in microsoft teams there's an action called create a channel by using this action, we can create a channel in Microsoft Teams in the particular team. All right, let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. Now, this action or the operation is used to create a new channel for the specific team. All right, now, if you see the connection references, we have to select the connection reference or we have to add the connection reference which we are going to connect with Microsoft Teams. Now, I'm going to use admin at the rate of m365 on dot on microsoft.com and then i'm going to click on ok once i have created the connection reference i will get the teams which are available in the microsoft teams now in my microsoft teams i'm having team as conteso right now let me drop down this there you can see i'm having conteso as a team and then now to add the channel for the team that is Conteso, I'm going to give the display name over here. I'm going to give the display name as operation team. All right. And then if you go for the parameters, advanced parameters, as I said, the description, right? I'm going to give more information about this channel that is operation, that is display name channel. I'm going to give more information about that. Share post related to ops team. All right. The next parameter is the timeout. By default, it is 60 seconds. Now, the output will be stored inside the variable that is create channel response. All right. Let me click on save. Now, let's run the flow to see the output. 
flow execution started and it is trying to create a channel in the microsoft teams that is contest team under that we are going to create operation teams is the channel name so that will be created by using the action called create a channel action flow has executed successfully now let me go back to the microsoft teams there you can see i am having a channel with the name operation team and the type is standard right now if you click on that there you can see welcome to the operation team channel the description it will shows share post related to the ops team which we have given the additional information as a description in the advanced parameters right from there you can go ahead and you can start a post over here all right i hope you understand how to create a channel by using create a channel action which is available in power automate desktop